assalamu alaikum guys how are you i hope you're doing good and today in this video i'm going to show you a full review of the latest havoc os 3.0 which is based on android 10 and the rom is pretty stable and bugless there is no any bug or issue in this rom and this is a recommended rom so without any further ado let's get started The ROM is pretty stable and there is no any single bug or issue in this ROM. Everything, every single thing is working fine as you can see here hotspot is, is also working. Everything is working fine and the overall performance of this ROM is really impressive. And uh, in the launcher we have this pixel launcher with some minimum settings. And in the camera we don't have any MIUI camera or modded camera here we have a simple camera. And you can also install the pixel 2 or pixel 3 or pixel 4 camera and uh, the overall performance is also good the gaming performance is also pretty good and uh, here we also have the gaming mode in the quick settings and settings also as you can see here here we have the gaming mode so now let's check the app opening speed as you can see here it is opening the apps quickly like fire rooms this is the one of my favorite and 10 rooms so you can try it yourself and in the video setting we have a lot of shortcuts and now let's dig into the settings and we have the search bar then at a glance and then we have the network and internet connected devices configuration center in the configuration center we have all of customizations first of all we have the status bar customizations here we have clock and date and custom logo you can turn it or off and you can also change the logo style or to go and do back apple anything you want after it we have some button settings like status bar and gestures and network indicators battery you can change the battery icon and battery percentage and in the mix settings you can check some settings and in the screen we have the use framework value in the ambient display we have the always on display which is working fine and looks really gorgeous as you can see here it is working fine so after it we have the button settings in the button setting we have the menu bar in the menu bar so we have some power button settings like advanced reboot and screenshot this type of settings after it we have the screen off and volume vocal settings in the gestures we have some gestures and uh, in the navigation bar uh, we have the layout and invert layout In the notifications we have notification uh, buttons like heads up and uh, LED light and we also have the in call, vib in -call vibrations 
and in the animation you can enable or change animations of system and in the battery saver we have the action, action suspender and this type of settings in the misc we have the advanced gaming mode with some exciting features and uh, at the end about you can read the about of wac os after it we have the apps and notifications battery the battery backup of this rom is also pretty good but not like the pi roms and uh, in the battery section we have the battery saver adaptive ba battery and smart charging in the display we have the brightness level night light which is working fine as you can see here you can change its intensity adaptive brightness live display screen timeout screen attention uh, but uh, in the dis in the font sizes we have four types of font sizes and in the display size we have five type of display sizes after it we have screen saver and lock screen display we also have the always on display here and here we have lock screen notifications and lock screen message and this type of settings and uh, in the theming we have the styles and wallpaper from the styles you can change the styles uh, here we ha uh, have four styles pre-installed you can also make your own by clicking on the custom from here you have to choose any icon pack for me i am using i will use this click on next and from here you will ha uh, you have to choose the icons for quick settings after choosing click on next and from here you have to choose the accent color for your theme for me this is good and then click on the next button from here you have to ch uh, you have to choose uh, icon shape i am good with this one click on next and you, now you have to name this i am uh, uh, using my name for this theme and as you can see here the theme has been applied as you can see here so in the clocks we have uh, some clock settings for the lock screen here we have default bubbles analog type and binary as you can see here it looks pretty good i am using the analog and in the wallpapers you can change the wallpaper and we also have the dark mode mode which is working fine as you can see here and it looks pretty cool after it you can change the accent color headline body font and uh, icon shape and the sound quality of this rom is also pretty good and we have also have the me sound enhancer which will be helpful to enhance sound quality of this rom after it we have the storage privacy lock screen and security and the fingerprint of this rom is working pretty fine like uh, pi roms it is working quickly as you can see here so if you want face unlock just flash the stock g apps account accessibility google and system in the system we have languages and input date and time backup reset options multiple users and we don't have gestures here because the gestures are in the uh, configuration center as you can see here uh, just enter the configuration center if you want to try the android 10 gestures and if you want to change the layout of uh, navigation bar just enter the configuration gestures and uh, then enter gestures and here we have jump to camera and system gestures from here you can cha change the navi uh, navigation bar style here we have three button two button navigation bar and and system navigation so this was the review of this rom uh, the rom is pretty stable and recommended for daily use it and if you want to install this rom on your redmi 5 and its security patch is 5 november 2019 download the rom and gfs from the link in the description reboot your device into any installed custom recovery then go to wipe wipe everything except the internal storage and sd card uh, now go to install and flash the downloaded rom plus gfs reboot you will be in this rom so if you like this video hit the like button